adventure. Um, on our way to get another donor truck we found. Well, we kind of, I don't know, happened to run into this one on accident. Corey Jinx, this guy. This donor truck you might uh, recognize from another video of ours. It is the same truck that pulled the forklift off of uh, my Viking when we totaled it. is on the front of the trailer. Well, here is the inside. Just got a little whatever that stuff's called. And I noticed we already made a dollar back of our purchase. <laughs> Need a will. Yeah. Here we go. We got all the lug nuts. That's well, it. that's unusual. Yeah. Should have brought my off-road jack for this. <laughs> Here's our newest truck. It is a 24 valve, five speed, four wheel drive. Cummins. We already know that, well, we think we know what it's gonna go under, but we changed our mind a lot because we have a lot that we wanna build and we don't know which one we wanna get to yet. So we think we know, but we're not sure. All we have to do is put a wheel on it. Sounds easy, but we um, didn't, no, bring a sock we in. didn't know it was going to have all the lug nuts. Normally, what we buy yeah, so it's a, actually. Yeah, so it's a bonus it has all the lug nuts, but it has uh, keyed lug nuts. So we don't have a lug nut socket. <laughs> I ain't found it. Well, I haven't looked, so it might be in the truck. But uh, we got to put a wheel on it, and then we're going to winch it on our trailer. And so, yeah, this is our latest donor truck. And the reason it is a well, why it's a donor truck now is because the dash caught on fire, the wires underneath. So um, we'll probably put a standalone harness on whatever we're building anyway, so none of that matters. And it'll probably be Hannah's uh, winter driver, maybe, mm -hmm. for a little bit. It might be actually really warm and have heat if it catches on fire again with me in it, so. Go ahead and tell them, uh, <laughs> like the story, like me telling Zaren. Okay, well, so the day that um, Zaren came over and it uh you know he had to use his truck to help get the forklift off my truck we had to have my viking at a church or at our church um like little youth class about god don't make junk well um Corey was telling the kids that 
he said, well, Zarin, like Zarin's truck, because it was parked behind Corey's farm truck, he said, that's the kind of trucks we use um, and take like the motor, transmission, all that kind of stuff um, and put it underneath one of um, our old farm trucks. And he said, that's what we did with my farm truck and something like that. He said, who knows, Zarin's truck may be a donor truck of mine one day. Well, two weeks later, it caught fire. So we kind of felt like we needed to buy it because I think Corey jinxed him. I found a dollar. I yeah, I know, I know. I said, we already made our money back. Oh, well, I didn't find the lug nut socket, but I found a dollar. Thank you, Zarin. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'll get it back to you. We're just checking out everything in the hey, truck. Hey, look, <laughs> the lug nut socket. Bingo. Awesome, homie. Mm -hmm. I should have brought my impact for this. Yeah, but we didn't. I mean, show them your fancy spare wheel that you broke. I broke. Yeah, the big weld. No, okay, we bought this like this. Well, we bought it busted. I had a weld. But this is just Hannah's spare for her second gen. Mhm. Mm Thankfully, I haven't had to use it really, but um, we've used it for stuff like this. It's been a really good roller for things. So, yeah. We just made it home and we have no keys to get this stupid thing off. Luckily, we got it on the trailer without needing keys and the steering wheel was straight. And then there at the last, I turned. Now the steering wheel is locked. So we now, <laughs> so I text Zarin, I'm like, yo, where's the keys? And he's got them in his truck. So now we're going through um, just unwinch this thing and hopefully it just stays straight. We don't have to turn the wheel. Or we're gonna have to bring the forklift into this. Keep going. So you barely found it. Still <laughs> There, that's better. What <laughs> the winch breaks and goes through the bean field? No, you're good. Corey, I'm just telling you, I can throw a trailer, come on. Well, yeah, there's weight on the back. We're gonna need something to push it over, so. Are you climbing on me? Oh. Hey, hey, you're hurting mom. You are hurting mom. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what are you doing back? The good news is both of my trucks are at the top of the driveway. Did you put it in first? No, neutral. Uh-huh, probably. Um, but they're both up there, so what you're about to see next is him on the forklift. But this time, the fortune's at the bottom. Did somebody call for destruction? No, we did not. Because here I am. This is why can't have a nice yard because we leave trash everywhere. I think you need to push the wheel. You're, 
You're just turning the wheel. You're not doing anything other than that. Oh. It still needs more that way. Is it not going to hit that? Yes. Okay, let's use our brain. It's gonna hit that. What do you say? It's gonna hit this. I know that. That's why I came over here. We're gonna have to leave this truck set in here. For a little bit because we need the keys so Zarin will drop off the keys or whatever but as you can see behind us is the 41 Dodge and um, what do you guys want to see Hannah and I build next we have a Lodestar the four-door Lodestar is in the garage we're, we're doing some content on it right now but I'm gonna give you guys two options on what we can build next for our personal and then this one will probably be for sale unless I just absolutely fall in love with it but um, do you guys want to see us build this 41 Dodge with the 12 valve Cummins or... Well, you got to show them the front. It's oh, okay. Really nice. Hold on. We got to show you the front. So this thing is an ex-military truck. Um, personally, one of my favorite ones here. So I'm going to give you that option. So then again, 41 Dodge or... Here we go. Going up the hill. Waiting on Hannah. Here she comes. Or would you want us to see us build this 1958 Dodge D500? So this is going to be our our new shop, shop truck. truck. So the plan is with Zarin's truck, the white truck, that chassis would go under this truck. And then the Golden Nugget, which is the 12 valve extended cab truck you guys see us drive sometimes. Oh, I cut Hannah out of part fine. of that. <laughs> but <Okay>. um, <laughs> um, the 12 valve would go in the 41 Dodge and the 24 valve truck would go in this. So what would you guys like to see us build next together? And that's probably what we're going to be building next. next. So, well, like on our own, time, on our own time, we don't have, but we've got to make time because we haven't had an actual build since the farm truck. Yeah. So, so we've got Hannah's truck done, the farm truck done, and then we got the beer truck done and a few of the Lodestar done. So now it's time for us to get back on to one of our personal projects. This truck probably won't be for sale unless somebody has to have it when we're done or the military truck. It will be for sale. <sighs> if That's going to conclude this video. Our dogs are loaded up in the truck and we're going to take buckwheat and mini wheat on a walk. So um, thank you guys as always for subscribing or watching and subscribing and commenting. And we really appreciate it. We try to read everyone's comments, but what I want you guys to do right now is drop a comment below and tell us what you guys want to see see us build next we will catch you guys on the next one